Hello, YouTube Big Mac here back again. I got me an OU battle in the tournament I had last week in the British Salty League. I got my Talon Flame, my Alakazam, my Cloyster, my Conkleder, my T Tar, and my Mega Chomp. <clears throat> All right, let's let's get this battle going here. So this was the Ice Monotype dude, or whatever you want to call it, trainer. But anyway, I sent out my Garchomp at first because I want to scare him out into something else and I'm going to Mega Evolve and go for a Stone Edge and he sends out hard bodied his Avalug. This thing was a problem the last time I faced him but this was the match I won. I lost the first one against him but it's whatever. So I just go for a Stone Edge and dude it does it does barely anything. So I withdraw out. I go in to my T-Tar thinking he's going to go for an avalanche, which he does, <clears throat> and T-Tar's going to take that fine, and I get my sand though, which I'm pretty pleased about, because ice teams don't do well in the sand, hello, we get some good damage off, and uh, I bring him down a little bit more, and I go for another stone edge, and I hit, that's two in a row, okay, counting two in a row, and that is a dead avalog, I'm so pleased about that, and he sends out his Ralph, which is his Mammoth Swine. And I'm going to switch out here, knowing he's going to go for an Earthquake the next turn. And I'm going to go out to my Talon Flame after I Stone Edge, just to get some damage off. Does a shit ton. That's three Stone Edges in a row that I hit. This is crazy. I'm getting so lucky with these Stone Edges. But I send out Talon Flame, knowing he's going to go for that EQ. And the, the Stealth Rocks hurt, but it's not really going to matter because Talon Flame did his job right here. He takes out this mammoth slime with this brave bird, and I was so fucking hyped right, right about here. It was so, so pleasing. And that brave bird is going to kill. I'm so. Mm, this battle was a great battle. Great, great, great battle. And, uh. He's going to send out his Eeks, which is his Rotom Ice. And I'm going to just keep brave burden and brave bird until this Tal Flame is dead. <laughs> Because I don't want to go into anything else, and I'm just going to keep getting damage off. But he's going to set up, he's definitely going to set up his screens here with the reflect and light screen. But it's cool, it's cool, it's whatever. I'm going to Brave Bird again, and I'm just going to keep Brave Bird until eventually he kills me with this thing. And I know it's not very effective, but Gale Wings, Talon Flame, Adamant, this, he's just too nice. Too nice. I'm pretty sure I have a choice band on this thing too. So that, that just boosts in here more with the stab and everything. So I get him down to 16 HP and then he finally, finally, finally just goes for a T bolt and takes me out. And Talon Flame didn't have that much damage anyway, but he did get a crit. So I'll give him that. He gets some hacks, gets some hacks. And uh, I sent out my Conqueror, which was a pretty dumb move. Because he's just going to switch right into his Frost Last. Should have predicted that. I should have predicted that. I should have just went out to T-Tar and Stone Edge that thing, but it's whatever. So I withdraw, and I do go out to T-Tar, but he's going to Thunder Wave me. And it's it's just not going to be good for T-Tar. But T-Tar just... T-Tar is my favorite Pokemon, probably. Yeah, he's one of my favorites. And... He's going to go for the Thunder Wave, but the Sandstorm breaks his Focus Sacks, which I really, really wanted to do. And I'm, I'm, dude, that just fucking turned the battle around for me right there, honestly. And I'm going to go for the Crunch here, but I get the Parahax on me, which is fucking stupid. And I'm, I'm, I'm a little pissed at that, but it's whatever. I mean, he paralyzed me, but he did get the first turn hacked, so it, he sends up, he does some more spikes. I go for a crunch. It's going to take this thing out one shot. It. Because Frost Slash is gone. Because t -tar is too nice in the sand. He's just too nice. Just way too nice in the sand. He sends out his Obama Snow. Which which is his... Obviously, it's his Obama Snow. And he's going to get the hail up. Which I'm, I'm a little pissed about. So I'm just going to withdraw here. And I'm going to send out Gar Garchomp. And, uh... No, I did. I sent out Cloyster. Huh. Stupid. Wrong prediction. I sent out Cloyster. I'm pretty sure I just do this for Death Fodder. 
so I can get a clean switch in. But I should have went for Rock Blast there instead of Shell Smash. I should have just I should have just went right for the right for the Rock Blast. But it's whatever because he's gonna kill me with one Giga Drain because Cloyster is frail when it comes to Special D. So it's whatever. We'll we'll just it's whatever 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 whatever. So I send out my choice specs Alakazam and go for that Focus Blast because I don't care about getting locked into that anymore. I took out his Frost Blast. And it'll just wreck anything on this team anyway, so I just go for it. But that Giga Drain just does way too much Alakazam. It's so frail. They need to, they need to fucking, they need to do something about that. Like seriously, I wish this Mega would have got some better defenses than it did. Where I'd use the Mega because Alakazam is tight. But he takes out my Alakazam with a freaking Ice Shard, and I'm gonna send out my T-Tar, paralyzed and all. And uh. He that and spikes and that spikes and the stones really hurt me, but I just want to get that get that sand back up to get his hail away. He uses Giga Drain and takes me out real fucking fast, and that is no bueno, no bueno for me, no bueno. That's a dead T tar, but the battle the battle is fantastic. Let me tell you, just let me tell you. Every stone edge I use, I fucking hit it. And I'm going to stone edge it right here. And I'm going to take this thing out. But, he goes into his goddamn fucking room frost. But, it's whatever. Because I'm going to hit the stone edge anyway. And take out his room frost. Oh, lord. That thing was a pain in the ass. That, here comes his Obama snow again. Hopefully... We can hit another stone edge. So I've I've got, I've hitting four in a row, okay? Four in a row. He uses ice shard, he thinks he's gonna take me out, but oh I live, I live. I hit the stone edge five in a row. I'm getting so lucky and that takes out the Obama snow. So fucking lucky. Oh my lord, so lucky. And then I die from the hail, so pretty sure it comes down to this. It's Confliter versus Cloyster. Oh, man. So I really, 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 really thought he was going to sell some ass right here. But he probably thought I was going to Drain Punch. But I do not have Drain Punch on my comp. I have Mock Punch. As you can see, I did one third, over two-thirds of his damage. He goes for the Icicle Spear. He gets a crit off top. Then he hits me again. Then he hits me again. He gets another freaking crit. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I'm done. This is it. And that's five. So I'm like, alright, whatever. This, this hail's gonna kill me. I'm done. I live with six HP. Go for the mod punch, and I win. Oh my lord, this is a fantastic battle. If you guys like this battle, please subscribe to my content. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace out.